I was going to make a full length review of the game, but then I realized no one's going to watch that. So instead of doing that, I decided to make a video about more notable things that happened in my journey, but I will still leave a review at the end. Now I haven't shiny hunted any starter in any Pokemon or Robux games, but I'm no stranger to Starfy setting for superficial reasons. It took me around 6 hours or 300 encounters to find my shiny starter, and it was the purple dog. I named it appropriately based on the final evolution. Moment of silence for the soul still stuck in the lab. After beating the game, I decided Fordrick was the guy I wanted to chain since it was a pseudo legendary and looks decent. Unfortunately, I broke the chain at 20 after catching a flat wither, as for some reason I didn't think it would break the chain, but at least I finessed a shiny almond in a horde before then. The bug I abused the most while chaining was the repel. If you don't click off the message when it tells you that the repel ran out, the repel still works until you click off. But then someone snitched and they patched it. I wouldn't call this a bug, but I think it's the fastest way to get around the map. So first you ride your mount, then use its boost that breaks obstacles, then dismount and repeat for maximum speed. To end off the video, my final rating I give to Tales of Tenoria without including the bugs is a generous 7 out of 10 as it felt like a rush version of Brick Bronze, but that's just my personal opinion. In bugs, I would give it at most a 5 to 6 out of 10 because it was in a barely playable state. I wouldn't recommend it to a friend as it would deter them from enjoying the game.